Jimmy McCracklin. One popular singer. Blues singer Jimmy McCracklin. Jimmy McCracklin, a popular blues singer and pianist whose career spanned more than six decades and whose songs were recorded by such performers as Otis Redding, Joe Tex, Elvin Bishop and Jerry Garcia, died December 20 at a nursing facility in San Pablo, California. He was 91. He had diabetes and hypertension. His death was first reported by the San Francisco Chronicle. An entry in Encyclopedia of the Blues, published by the University of Arkansas Press, calls Mr. McCracklin one of the great composers in blues history, with his depth of feeling, his sense of phrasing, and his conciseness. Mr. McCracklin had a rare ability among blues singers to adapt to changing musical tastes. While his earliest records from 1945 were sung to a lone piano accompaniment, his later records encompassed jump blues, rock and roll, and soul music. Two series of hits. His most popular record, The Walk, 1958, a Johnny Dance record propelled by guitarist Lafayette Thomas's syncopated guitar hook, reached number seven on the Billboard pop charts. The song garnered Mr. McCracklin an appearance on American Bandstand and charted again in 1980 in an almost note-for-note -note remake by The Inmates, a British band. Through the 1960s, Mr. McCracklin had a string of self-composed rhythm and blues hits that bridged the gap between blues and the newer Southern soul style. The songs included Just Got to Know, 1962, Every Night, Every Day, 1965, My Answer, 1966, and Think, 1965, which was later recorded by Garcia, of Grateful Dead fame. Mr. McCracklin also was remembered for a song that he co-wrote but didn't originally record, Lowell Folson's Tramp, 1967, a standard among soul performers. It was covered that same year by Redding and Carla Thomas, who did it as a duet, and by Joe Tex, who retitled it Papa Was, too. The song proved to have a long shelf life. In 1987, the duo Salt and Peppa redid it in a hip-hop style. 3. Elder of the Blues the half-spoken song, at times almost a proto-rap, was a humorous expression of pride for rural African Americans, many of whom had recently relocated to the city. In later decades, Mr. McCracklin became a mainstay of blues festivals and was regarded as something of a blues elder. The Los Angeles-based roots rock band The Blasters took their name from Mr. McCracklin's backup unit, The Blues Blasters. James David Walker was born on August 13, 1921, in Helena, Arkansas, and took the surname McCracklin from his stepfather. When he was nine, his family moved to St. Louis, where he met Walter Davis, a popular blues singer and pianist of the 1930s who taught the youngster the basics of blues piano. Mr. McCracklin joined the Navy after graduating from high school. Near the end of World War II, he attempted a boxing career in Southern California but was permanently sidelined by a dislocated shoulder incurred in a car accident. He made his first records in Los Angeles in 1945 and then moved to Richmond, California, near Oakland, in 1947. His wife, Beulah McCracklin, died in 2008. Survivors include a daughter, five stepchildren, and two grandchildren. For the real life. In a 2003 interview with writer Lee Hildebrand in Living Blues, Mr. McCracklin reflected on his approach as a blues writer and the lessons learned from Walter Davis. He, Davis, said, What I write, I put the truth in there because I want to tell you about what happened to me could happen to you or what happened to you could happen to me, Mr. McCracklin said. This is the way I put my lyrics together, he added. It's real life. Research, Vitor Hugo Lizard Leonard. Hello friend, I am a big music lover and because I thought that without music I would be nothing in this life, I created this channel, the soul is the root of music, and in my humble view, everything we hear today of good music is related to the soul. If you liked it, leave your like and subscribe to the channel of this force so that new content like this can be produced, thank you very much.